So today I'm here at Christchurch Mansion having a look round, um, which is in Ipswich, Ipswich in Suffolk. There's actually um, Gainsborough and um, John Constable's paintings in here, Thomas Gainsborough and John Constable's paintings in here. So the originals, so I'm really excited to, to see them and take a look round. It's actually just a donation, so you don't have to pay. Well, you have to pay, but it's just a donation. So I've, I've taken my nan and granddad, who we can see just here. We've come here today to have a look round and um, yeah, see what's inside and take a look round the grounds. So we just finished our walk around the Christchurch mansion and uh, had a spot of lunch which was uh, really nice in the tea rooms. Um, it was really nice because actually where you eat lunch is actually the um, scullery. So you can also see in there some of the bits where the old bits that they used to use um, in the scullery as well. So I was really really impressed with the Christchurch mansion considering it's something that you just make a donation. Like I made a, I think it was a £10 donation for the three of us. Um, and I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. It was fantastic, I thought, um, for value. Um, there was loads of paintings, the original paintings from Gainsborough and uh, Constable. You know, you've got the original Willie Lott's house in there, like, unbelievable. I thought it was fantastic. There's loads of really, really ornate, um, beautiful furniture. I think there was about, I think I must have saw at least 10 grandfather clocks. Um, yeah, I was just really, really impressed. And then also what I'm really impressed with is this is a public park and it's just really, really beautiful. Um, so you could just take a walk around here even if you weren't that interested in the history. It's just a really beautiful park to take a walk around. But yeah, I 100% um, I think if you're around Suffolk or the Ipswich area and you haven't visited this, or if you're here visiting, um, Ipswich or Suffolk, you should definitely go and take a look because um, lots of history, you know, you see all the servants quarters, you see um, all of the sort of like original furniture. Um, there was three families that lived there. Um, there was a merchant family, then there was the Deverows and the Fonerows. Um, and then a guy from Ipswich, a banker, Cobold, he actually, um, in a consortium, ended up giving the mansion to the borough council. And so it's actually an Ipswich Museum, so it's hence that um, you just make a donation rather than paying, it's not English heritage. But yeah, really, really worth a visit. Um, and also, there's a little Ed Sheeran exhibition at the beginning, which was quite cool. Um, hopefully you'll see some pictures of that. So um, yeah, but I just really, really, I was highly impressed. Value for money was uh, really good. Okay, so Nana Granite, what did you think of the Christchurch mansion and the grounds? Absolutely fantastic. Recommend it to anybody. Granite? It's been a lovely day, but if the sun was showing it, it would have made it a lot better. But it's lovely now. It's, it's yes. I'd come again. Some big old trees out here as well, aren't there? Oh, God, massive trees. Oh. Oh, never seen so big. Oak and chestnut and oh. just a really, really nice park area. 
and the mansion was yes. um, really Fantastic. interesting. Yes, yeah, very nice. And the tea room was wonderful. In the scullery? Yeah. <laughs> Big portions of chips, wasn't it, Nan? <laughs> huge, huge. <laughs> Pretty Nan ain't most of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> Took you a while to walk around? Uh, 18 strides right there. 18 strides around the street. So I just got home from our little trip to the Christchurch mansion. It was really, really good. Um, it, was, it doesn't take that long. I mean, you're only talking walk around the park and, and the actual mansion. It's a public park and Christchurch Park. And the mansion is a um, museum, so it's, it's run by the Borough Council. and. Uh, like I said earlier, it's just a, a donation you have to give, but it's, it's well worth it. And if you're in the area, if you're interested in art or history, it's really, really worth just popping in. Like I say, it only takes a couple of hours. Um, stop for something to eat as well. So it's, it's definitely worth worth doing. It's uh, my nana granddad really, really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, it was just a great little uh, trip out. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.